Stephen Henderson, thanks very much for joining us on Aircom.net. How did the pre-season go for you so far? Um, it went really well. We came back on the, the 8th of January. We felt because we were a part-time side that we had to give ourselves as big a chance as possible to catch up with the, with the full-time lads. So we've done that. We've done an army camp. So our fitness levels are really high. We've gone into the football for the last three weeks, obviously involved in pre-season friendlies. So we have a, a match now on Sunday against Limerick 37. That will almost complete the pre-season and then we're, we're more or less prepared then for the Finn Harps match. Why did you go with the army setup? What was that about? Well, <laughs> it, was, uh, it was more to do with team bonding. It was, um, it was four hours. It was a really hectic four hours. There was a lot of uh, communication involved in it. It was something that, because we're a young side, we have to increase our communication skills on the football pitch, which uh, they're, they're ex-Army Rangers, and, and if you don't communicate, <laughs> you'd want to learn quick with them boys, to be fairness. But uh, there was a lot of hard work involved in it. There was a lot of enjoyment in it. But uh, overall, the four hours, the boys were absolutely shattered at the end of it. But, but what we've learned from it, you just can't beat. It was, it was an exceptional day for us. Now looking ahead, the Limerick 37 coming up, what's the aim? Well, what I'll be doing is finalising the team now for the Finn Harps match. Uh, we've played four games. Um, we've had a look. We, we've uh, incorporated a new system for this for this season. It was a case of uh, getting the boys familiar with it, uh, seeing who could adapt to it quick, uh, see who who had an idea what we could bring along with it. Um, so obviously, against we actually played Limerick last week. So. Uh, um, for about 40 minutes of that, it really clicked into gear. I was delighted with the way it worked. So uh, obviously this Sunday now we will have one more look at it and we'll, we'll make our, our decision on the starting 11 then. What, uh, have you new players in or how's it set up? Yeah, we, um, we brought three lads up from our under-21 set up from last year. Um, we signed Alan Kearney who was with Everton over in uh, the Premiership for four years. He's a good lad, he's still only young. He's but he's a hungry lad. He's not one of these lads who's come back and, and is disappointed it didn't work. He's come back with a point to prove. We signed um, a central midfielder come centre-half called Jamie Wunch from uh, Princeton College in uh, Boston. Uh, he's an original Cove kid, but uh, he's back. And uh, we, we had a look at him last week, and there's definitely something about the lad. Big tall boy as well, six foot four, strong, what we need. Um, Anthony Fenley has come in because young Stephen DC has picked up a knee injury to, uh, as a goalkeeper, so we needed to strengthen that area and the cover in that area. And uh, Ray Lally, we've just signed in Cork City over the last day or two there. So. so everything's kind of in place. So your aspirations? Well, the aspirations is to take it one game at a time. It was, um, it's a league that I think will suit my players. It, we're a football inside. Uh, I think we played our way out that first division last year. Obviously, we had to. We had a few battles along the way, but we were able to adapt. It was. A, it's a division that we lads are really looking forward to playing, and I'm looking forward to playing in. Uh, I'm looking forward to coming up against top managers because there's a lot of really good managers in this league uh, this year. So the aspirations will be take one game at a time, try and win as many as we possibly can. Uh, this relegation nonsense people are talking about us. But that's what we hope to prove by the end of the season. That's exactly what it is, nonsense. Well, best of luck for the season. Stephen thanks very Anderson, much. Thanks very much for joining us on Aircom.net. It was a pleasure. Thanks very much.